Hello, you probably know because I've done a couple of videos on it that one of my favorite things in the PC world, it works for Macs as well, is the uh, Behringer UCA222 or 202 or the UFO222 or 202. They're both what you might call PC sound cards or, or interface sound cards. USB to, um, well, one of them does optical, which is quite good. The, uh, the other one does photo input and it all it outputs to USB, which is great. Well, the trouble is, I didn't know that this computer that I'm using had a problem with its sound card because I'd only ever used those converters because basically this computer, which is a, a, a HP laptop, has had a problem um, that, well, it was no use to me as it was, so that's why I bought the interfaces. Well, I, I took it away to use it, so we'll add what should happen. The um, I try using the built-in interface. It turns out, I'll have to do a bit of Google searching, that there is a common problem on these and basically it'll run for anything between a few seconds and a couple of minutes then it goes all fuzzy and you you select a different method of output and it, it'll be all right again for a few seconds or a couple of minutes they go fuzzy again so it's never been a problem to me before because i've never used it but now it was a problem so i had to go out and buy something and i had to buy something that's going to actually allow me to carry on doing my videos and so what i did was i bought one of these i wasn't at home so i couldn't use what I'd already got. And so I needed to go out and buy an interface and I couldn't get another one of the same ones, but I'd already got three of those anyway. So did, did I want another one? Not really. Um, but I did find this one. Now it's in the Amazon catalog and you can find it here. And it's rather rather good, it's rather nifty. And uh, I thought, well, I'll show it to you. So anyway, that's what this is about. And uh, at the end, there's some software involved, which you might find interested. Stay tuned, look to the end, and we'll see where we go from there. So we start by looking at the box you see here. It says your perfect sound reproduce, reproduce and reproduce live streaming and podcast includes two inputs, mic, instrument or line inputs. And then it says over on the other side, includes software, the doors, MPC beats, effects, air. Uh, it says uh, featuring the 20 effects plugins, revolver and virtual instruments to be synth, electro bass. It also has a demo for the um auto tune six months not a demo it's a free trial yeah so i suppose it's a demo isn't it anyway right so it does all that and as you can see it's got four knobs on the top and what's quite interesting right here it says a phantom power there's signal clip and it's got a monitor and got a big knob for adjusting the, the headphones and uh, we'll have a look at the rest of the box now you can see on here it's got uh, it says M M audio M track duo so this is a two input one minimum system requirements standard USB two Windows eight um, and it says uh, it do the sixty four bit version Mac OS ten thirteen six console M audio com support for current software system requirements now the important thing with this actually is that you do get the drivers when you first put the thing in before you actually run it up you have to get the drivers for it it will plug and play but it, they recommend you get the drivers that way you get the specifications that they're talking about and you can see it's got all the, the um, ce and various other ukca which i presume is because of brexit and um, yeah, it's got various addresses and things on there so that's all right it's a good bit kit when you first open the box you see this and underneath that you see this as you can see it definitely says go and get the drivers so you better do that just to be on the safe side as you can see, it looks just like it does on the box. And uh, you can see also it's supplied with the USB lead, which is a USB 2 to one of those. Um, it looks like a printer lead, but uh, it, it works. We'll take a look at this first. So this is the widescreen view, if you like. And then we're going to have a look and see what things are what. So we've got line input and guitar input. So it's an instrument and it's switchable. And it's got a quarter inch jack or XLR input. So it covers everything and then on the other side we've got this switch which selects whether it's direct mono direct stereo or usb and also you can see there's the socket for the headphones they're quarter inch jack standard professional size headphones jack and this one which most people in the audio world wouldn't necessarily know but certainly in the professional audio world would which is phantom power now that's to do with microphones and powering them up with a 48 volt signal so if you don't need it, it doesn't matter because you switch it off. But if you do need it, it's vital and it's there. It also mentions crystal inputs or the preamp. So they're very, very, that doesn't mean phono type crystal. It means that it's a 
a type of preamplifier they use in a very good quality one. And then we go on to the back, and this is where you can see this. The back is clean and uncluttered. Look, you've got main outs, so you've got right and left, and you've got USB. That's it. Simple. Again, because this is a professional piece of equipment, you've got on here, you've got input one, input two, and you've got the, a nice big knob control so you can alter them independently. And you've got on here signal clip, signal clip on both of them. You've also got phantom power light, which is obviously when you switch the, the phantom power on, because some things don't want phantom power, but uh, you need to know when you've got it switched on. And you've got the monitor output. So this actually gives you the ability to adjust the inputs and the outputs independently, and also to actually feed out to your headphones independently, which is a little bit more flexible than the uh, other devices that obviously are not aimed at the same market. But this is not expensive. This was only, I think it was 50 quid. We'll have a look at, on the Amazon listing. Uh, I think it might be 49 pound. Can't exactly remember. Get to it in a minute. Right, the thing about this is that it's a professional piece of equipment, which means that it does not actually have the simple stuff like the Behringer has, which is more consumer based. It the Behringer takes in line signals and converts it into a digital signal of your choice, which is great. But this actually allows you to plug in instruments and stuff. Now, with the UFO Behringer, you've got, actually got the ability to plug in a direct feed from a cartridge, like a magnetic cartridge, and it will give you the RIAA recalibration for it. Uh, it's, it's all to do with EQ, and people get really confused. That the eyes go whoop with EQ. But basically, if you plug a cartridge um, 3600, any, any sort of cartridge into the UFO, it will give you the proper signals from it. If you plug into the line input on the UCA, then you will get a flat recording on the output. And I've used them all the time, and they are very, very good. They give a very good flat response. Now, this is the next step up. This is a professional piece of equipment. If you want to play a guitar, you plug it into here. You don't want RIA compensation. You, if you were to use a Behringer, you'd have to uncompensate it. With this, it's flat. If you want to plug in a microphone, microphones come in different uh, impedances. Um, what does that mean to you and I? Well, basically, you've got microphones that give out small signals, you've got microphones that give out medium signals, you've got microphones that give out line level signals. Well, this has got a switch on it, so you can switch to be medium for line input, you can switch to be the other type of input. And you've got a knob on it, so you can adjust the gain of that particular input, which you can't do with the other stuff because they're consumer-based. This is very good. It also comes with some software. Now, this software is uh, MIDI stuff, and there's various other things. And I will, I'm i not into software demonstrations because there is I could spend hours on it. But I'll show you a quick thing. This is the MIDI converter, and it takes it from the input quite happily from the... From the mouse so i'll show it to you now and uh, we'll go we'll finish off then this is my current desktop as you can see it's quite nice and so we open it up this is called beats mpc beats and you can see here it's got all the various different inputs on there and the, so all of those are different sorts of sounds it's going to make whether it be keyboard or brass or whatever and i'm just going to go on the keyboard one here now you can see this so you've got what looks like a keyboard up there and it makes noise. And when you've done that, you can then click on the other bits here, which also make noise and everything is happening. So you can actually have great fun. And if, you, if, you're, musical, if you're musically inclined, you can actually get a good use out of it. So this is a nice piece of software and this is a full version. And this is included with your M Audio M Track Duo. It's also available on the M Track. Audio M track mono, but um, I wanted stereo, so therefore I bought the duo, and uh, I must say I'm actually quite impressed with it. Now we'll have a look at some of the pretty pictures they put up on the site so that you can see what's what. And the podcast record, live stream, professional MPC beats, revolver, so many industry and stuff. Get the best out of your microphones, transparent crystal preamps. So it gives a plus three zero latency monitoring, quarter inch headphone output, add stereo quarter inch outputs. Then you've got prime for any scenario, record guitar, vocal, stereo inline, input signals and more. And then we look down here and we can see the actual specification. And it says three inch response 20 to 20 plus 
0.1 dB, which is nothing to noise ratio, 109 better than CD. Total harmonic distortion is almost nothing, and at 0.003%, and then we're looking on at preamp in 128 dB U for 40 ohm input, A weighted. Gain range is direct mono is 0 to 54 dB, and direct stereo is 6 to 60 dB. Line input balanced is quarter inch and looking at 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, 0.1 dB. Sensitivity minus 43 dBU, total harmonic distortion is 0 0.002, which means almost nothing. A weighted gain range, range is minus 10 to minus 44 dB and minus 4 to uh, plus 50 dB. So again, very, very small figures uh, in terms of deviation, very, very good figures 20 to 20 for the instrument input uh, one me mega ohm that's on the and 0.005 percent total harmonic distortion and noise gain stage is minus 10 db to plus 44 db direct stereo minus 4 db to plus 50 db main output left and right impedance balanced 20 to 20 plus 0.1 db which means virtually nothing so noise 109 better than that, better than CD and total harmonic distortion is 0.02% or nothing. Maximum output level plus 4 dBU. Headphone output is 60 milliwatts per uh, channel at 32 ohms. Frames response 20 to 20. Total harmonic distortion plus noise is 0.02%. Again, virtually nothing. Still noise ratio 100 dBA. Still better than what you're going to get with a CD. And what's in the box? Intrack Duo USB to USB, USB B to USB A cable, software download cards, user guide, safety and warranty manual. And I must say, I've actually been using this now for two and a half months and I'm very impressed. It, when I first plugged it in, I wasn't sure what I was going to be getting and, well, I was. it was one of those one of those wow moments when I plugged it in, I thought, wow, this is working well. It is important though to get your drivers downloaded and it's... Uh, a few people have reported issues with them, with it dropping connection occasionally, but I haven't found that to be too big a problem having downloaded the drivers. It basically does the job, and it does it very well. And uh, I must say, I'm very impressed. I'm very pleased. So hope that's been of some value to you. If it is, maybe you could uh, like and subscribe. And uh, anyway, I'll catch you another time. Cheers.